Uh, Charlie Gasparino has some ideas. Al along with Charlie, we have Noel Nickbor. Uh, and last but not least, market watch extraordinaire Mike Murphy. Um, Gas, what are you first on what you're hearing on the Mueller probe? Um, what we hear from sources close to the probe is that Mueller is wrapping it up, and that sort of confirms some of the stuff we've been reporting earlier. And he's wrapping it up with witness testimony. And it looks like the last ones, or among the last testimony, take Trump out of it because that could get tied up in Supreme Court land and never happen or, or maybe will happen soon, is Roger Stone, his former political advisor. We understand, I, I spoke with Roger over the weekend, he has told me his retained counsel, he has not been he has not been called yet, but from what our sources close to the probe are saying is that he's likely to be among the last of the Mohegans here, the last of the witnesses before, uh, before Mueller at least wraps up the witness side of the, so no uh, one else's office or home is to be ransacked. Well, you never know what they find. But uh, and who and who? By the way, the office was ransacked by the FBI on the orders of the U.S. Very Attorney true. for the Southern District from a uh, referral from Mueller. But who's telling you that they get a sense that it's coming? the lawyers? The lawyers that are representing others that so. that know about what's going on in the Mueller probe, the that are speaking with the Mueller people, are saying. The witness side is is basically wrapping up, and it's Stone who is the last of the Mohegans there, among the last. Now, we should point out, why do they want to talk to Roger Stone? Um, it, I can only tell you based on what witnesses have been asked about Stone, the former political advisor. I, I have to admit, I've known Roger for a long time. I consider him a friend, decent guy. You know, maybe that puts me on the outs around here, but, I, you know, you do get friendly with oh, some of your... Believe me, your friendships have nothing to do with it. <laughs> Good Jeez. point. That's the least of my worries, right? Charlie, I'm um, going to ask let me just, why let are me just make, people on TV? This let, is let me, smart man. Let me just make my, make, make my point here, um, and we can delve into that. Uh, Roger has said in the past, he's talked about WikiLeaks and in a way that... It, 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 people assume that he was helping Julian Assange uh, and maybe Guccifer, point two, whatever the guy's name was, well, remember that? hack yeah, into the DNC emails. Yeah. Uh, he has said things. I should point out, Roger said, Roger's told me no, and there's no evidence of that. It's, it's very little evidence he's connected with anybody connected with uh, that, is ter that is basically a witness. A lot of people say Rick Gates, you know, they're, they're investigating whether his contacts with Rick Gates. Uh, again, Roger tells me they met once. Uh, so, you know, listen, Roger talks a good game, I can tell you that. Yeah. He's a political dirt digger, right? Yes, you know him. He He's yes. a tough guy. Um, I never know him to do anything stupid. Just All right, so let's out. say, what do you make of that, Noel, if it is wrapping up or could be perceived to be wrapping yeah. up? What do you think? Well, first of all, I'd like to ask all of you guys, why are all these people on an ongoing investigation going out on national television? Oh, Roger doesn't care. But, Ro he doesn't care. Roger but Stone <laughs> is, I mean, you're talking about a guy that... Uh, don't you think this is going to lead to something else? This really has nothing well, to I do with I think, unfortunately, Daniels. it's I don't being played out yeah. in, in the media right now. You know, and, and yeah. it's one side right. doing it, so the other side Roger has to Roger also has a book them. to sell. Uh, well, but you know what? <laughs> Everyone has a book no, to sell. This is not about right collusion. Now. This thing has started out with collusion, but you know what they're doing. But they're they getting all, for They don't go this way. But you mentioned something interesting, Mike, that just to follow up, and I do want to follow up with that, if you knew that this was going to be wrapped up sooner rather than later, and it depends how it's wrapped up, of course, to Charlie's point, wouldn't markets kind of welcome that uncertainty out of the way? Absolutely. I, I think earnings season came in as strong as we had wanted it or as strong as people anticipated. We have 18 percent growth. But this has been a dark cloud over the market, over the economy, over the country, because we, regardless of which side you're on, a, a major investigation or impeachment of the president, if it goes a step further, is negative for the market. And you know what I love about your colleagues? I mean, they're not red or blue. I don't exaggerate when I say they're about green. They're about keeping the green flowing. And that's why they were against seeing Bill Clinton kicked out because at the time the markets the economy was thriving and the last thing I wanted that was disrupted right I, yeah absolutely and I think maybe a little bit of credit goes to our mayor Rudy Giuliani who came on a week or two ago and said this is going to be wrapped up in a few well, weeks it's, it's, I don't oh, think it's, it's going to be I think he was a little too Pollyannish about the few I think he said two weeks and the two weeks was over I think on Friday I could be wrong about that. I don't think but the let me just make, know what to wish for or what yeah, to fear see, right? I think yes. I think the, the real issue now I think is how long is it going to take for Trump 
either to give or not give his testimony. That's one issue. The other issue but I was... But you're taking it, uh, would it be not. a mistake if he didn't? I think he's got to do it. He's and, not going to do it because, number one, he would be a fool to get before some the... Some are saying no. he has to do it. I'm not no, a no, lawyer, no. I but think that a lot that, of people I think that's say why that. you had that impeachment lawyer there. Do you I think, think that's that's that would be a mistake if he didn't? I think it would be a mistake if he did. I think I he has you. nothing Optic, to gain by testifying, and I don't believe he does have to testify. Here's what they have to do, and I think this is what Rudy's trying to do. Rudy Giuliani, the former mayor, is now his senior counsel. We should point out that in these... When, when Mueller's people are taking uh, witness testimony, mm -hmm. it divides in half between the notion of obstruction through the questioning questions and collusion. So he's asking the witnesses. It, it's not just all obstruction. He's asking both sides. Uh, anybody knows, if you know the prosecution of Martha Stewart, which I did a lot of reporting on back in the day right. when James Comey was the one who brought the case That's against right. her, oh, is yeah. that she volunteered to go see the Securities and Exchange Commission over a suspicious trade and she went in there, and that's and she concocted a story which the jury believed was a lie, and she obstructed justice. If she didn't do that, let's just point out. Now, why did she do that? She did that because she was the CEO of a publicly traded company. If she didn't do that, they were going to roast her for it. It was an optics problem. So you win, you lose either way. And I think that's the problem. But I Trump agree has. with Mike that you have more to lose talking than not. Well, not Trump, Trump says he's fine to sit down with Mueller. Yeah, well, of course Rudy he is. Of course he is. But I think to, to Mike's it. point, I mean. I think that's a zero sum. But if you don't do yeah, it, absolutely. don't you look guilty? I, I, I don't think so, and I think that's why the law is in place that way, that the sitting president could, could take the fifth and wouldn't have to well, testify well, now. Well, so. fine legal minds are disagreeing with that premise, that it, it subpoenaed he has to. Now, I don't know if that's true, but I fully agree with you that the, whether you like the president or not, that is a slippery path. And I, I think he could talk himself right into perjury, yeah, absolutely. unintentionally or intentionally. I know, but, Neil, this is the problem, and I think this is why they hired Rudy. They have to now do a public relations blitz on... on why? On, why do they have to talk yeah, about it? Because yeah. they know... Tell us, that Charlie. they know that this is why this is what people close to Rudy are telling me. <laughs> they believe that the only case they have, the strongest case, I'm not saying there wasn't you can't make something out of Don Jr. meeting with that Russian person, right? Remember the thing in yes, Trump Tower? Yeah. It seems pretty picky, right? But they believe the strongest thing he's got is the cover up rather than the crime. Uh, yeah. And, you know, that said, that said, uh, if you don't answer the questions from a political standpoint, I mean, could you imagine if he took the fifth and he's running for president again? But I don't think it's well, about He doesn't this. have to take the fifth. He just doesn't have to take the questions, period. But, but uh, I understand what I you're know. saying. But let me ask you this. I mean, I think given the market's movements, that the day had moved past this thinking that it's not going to hit the president. It might hit some of the people around him, but it won't hit the president. If that were the case, then... Um, is it just a green light for the, the market to continue its run up? I'm, I'm sure they'll pounce on the next concern like tariffs and all that, but what do you think? Yeah, so I think once that gets out of the way, if you can take this Mueller probe off the table, I think the market has a lot of catching up to do because we're basically flat for the year after some very strong economic numbers, after a tax cut. So I think the market... You don't think a comeuppance is due even with this because we've I, had... Well, the, I don't, month, the year notwithstanding, it's been a hell of a run-up. Well, yeah, it's been very volatile. Well, last year w was a great run-up. Right. Earlier this year was. And then, then we had this kind of a correction, if you will. But I think the Mueller probe is the biggest thing weighing on the markets right now. No. Because the underlying economy no supports a higher market. Uh, I, so it, Mueller yes, probe sir. adds to the volatility. I think we can all say that. I think the biggest thing hanging over the markets right now is, right. Uh, is trade.